Hi, this is a brief interlude from our exploration of Flask and web applications in Python to discuss a formatting method for strings in Python that we'll use, um, at least in the interim, while we're building up to uh, the point at which we learn about templates. Um, in the meantime, we'll be needing to work a lot with long strings that, uh, that, that consist of chunks of HTML that we'll be rendering um, and returning from our Flask handlers. So uh, this, this string formatting method will be really useful in um, creating these strings in a much cleaner, efficient way. So just to demo this, I have created um, just a plain Python file, format.py, and a variable called markup that is using these triple ticks to um, expand a string across multiple lines. And as you can see, it has a decent chunk of little HTML there. And so I want to show you a couple of ways that you can insert content into the string using the string.format method. The first way you can do so is to use placeholder strings. So uh, let's go ahead and look at how we can do that. So let me go ahead and up in my head, I'm going to create a title. And within that title, I can uh, put a placeholder. And here to, uh, to create the placeholder, I just use curly braces and I put an index there. So this, this says that basically when I use the, uh, the string.format method in a moment, this says that the zero index arguments from the format method should be inserted into this string in that spot. And then let me come down here and insert another one and I'll use the index one for this one. So like all things in computer science and Python, we start counting from zero. So now let me go ahead and uh, format this string. So I'm gonna say markup equals markup dot format. And within the format method, I can give values to be inserted in the places at which these placeholder strings are uh, exist within within the string itself. So, um, in the first one, let's say um, you know, let's just give it something, just some you know some some sample code here, some sample strings rather. Okay, so I have two different values for the zero index and one index argument to. Um, string.format, and I'm passing those to be inserted into this particular string. Let's go ahead and print out this string and see what we get. Okay, and I'm going to go and run this at the console. I call that what? Format.py. Okay, so we see what happened is that the string of HTML in those two locations had the values that we gave for those particular indexes inserted we can uh, reuse an index multiple places. So if I wanted to just use the same value in both spots, I could put zero and zero there, and then I could wipe out that second argument to the format method, and we can see that, that the same value would be inserted in both spots, both there and there. Okay, so you can use this with um, essentially any number of string arguments. Obviously, there, there are limits here, but uh, it's, it's unlikely that you'll bump up against them. There's one more way to use this that we want to introduce before moving on, and that is to use named placeholders rather than indexed placeholders. So I can say, uh, say that this is going to be called title, and let me say that this is going to be called heading, and then when I call string.format, I need to tell it which of the strings that I'm passing it correspond to which of these named placeholders. So I can say that title is my page title, and heading equals my page heading. Okay, so let's run that, and the output will be uh, pretty much as you might expect. The first string inserted up there in the title, second string inserted down below in the H1. So we'll use this technique to easily build up template strings for uh, various pages and, and chunks of markup, and then to quickly and efficiently format them so that we can return them from our Flask applications.